Now that we have an interface created, it's time to connect our interface to our PD patch. So the key will be to send a message to PD, and to do that, we're going to create a public method within pdpatch.h. And this method will be placed just above our init method dash void, because we're not returning anything. We'll call it on off, and it'll take a Boolean as an argument. So bool, and we'll call it yes, no. Now we'll implement this method in pdpatch.m, just above the initialization implementation, then dash void, and it's called on off. And there it is. And now it's time to send a message to PD. And the way that we do that is really pretty simple. First, we're going to convert the Boolean to a float. So we'll type float yn equals, and then we'll type in parentheses, float and yes, no. So that takes the Boolean value and converts it to a float. And the reason I'm using a float is because the message to send to PD, open and close brackets, is PD base space send float. And we'll send yn. Now receiver is the name of the receive object in PD that we're sending to. And that's called on off. And we represent that as a string. So at sign, two quotes, on off. Now to call this, we'll go to viewcontroller.m. And within the on switch change, we'll delete that code that has the NS log. And we'll create two brackets and a semicolon, self.patch. And we'll call this new method that we created on off. And we'll send the value of sender two brackets, and within that, sender space is on. And it looks like we're good to go. Let's render. And I can see I forgot one thing. I forgot to actually change the name of my file. Go back to viewcontroller.m. I still have it as MAI. It's main.pd. Close the drawer, and let's try this again. Excellent. Now if this works, when I click the switch, we should hear something. And we do. So what happens is when we click the switch, a yes value is sent to the patch via the patches on off method. And then if we take a look at that, this on off method takes that Boolean and converts it to a float. And then we send that float to PD to the on off receive message in PD. Now the last thing we need to do is deploy this to device to make sure absolutely it works.